We quickly get to look at the importance, medical importance of heparin. Medical importance of heparin. All right, so everybody who has gone to the hospital must have at least come across what heparin is. Or probably somebody that has donated blood before. You hear the, the people in the hospital talking about heparin, heparin, heparin. And heparin is all about, okay, I collected a blood sample. I don't want to use the blood sample now. But I need the blood to still maintain its liquid state. Do you understand? So, I can mix heparin in the blood sample. So that the blood sample will maintain its liquid state. Because blood, do you, do you, when blood gets exposed, the next thing is what? It starts becoming thick. It now clots. Alright? So, but if you want to maintain the blood in the liquid state, this is what you use. Now, another application of heparin is if somebody is having a type of condition where they are at the risk of their blood being clotted, let me say there is a blockage of your blood vessel. So now there will be like collection of blood. And when blood is collected for a long time and it's not moving, next thing is what? Start becoming, start forming clots, right? So if you still want to prevent that, you use heparin, okay? So all those are the application of heparin, but we'll look at it bit by bit so that you basically will understand it, all right? So heparin is an anticoagulant medication. When they say something is anti, it is against. So it's an anticoagulant, that means what is against coagulation, all right? So it has various medical applications, that has various medical uses. So pre uh, it prevents what? Okay, it's using the prevention and treatment of what thrombosis and embolism. What is thrombosis? Formation of what blood clots, right? So if blood is clotting here, if you want these clots to break off, you now apply heparin, okay? The embolism is what? This blood can clot here and eventually block this whole blood vessel. That's when we see that there's embolism, all right? So it can help to now liquefy the blood again and keep the blood in circulation, right? Then it can also help in what management of deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism. That's just like a, an example on that this, right? So you could put them at different points or you could put them the same thing, right? But this is an example. You are looking for different marks. You are looking for many marks. So it just puts at different points, right? It can help in cardiovascular procedures like what? Angioplasty and bypass surgery because... As you are doing these surgeries, the heart activities can be reduced. So the heart is not pump, pumping this blood in circulation, all right? So you have the blood is moving slow, and there's what possibilities of blood clots. So you now use heparin, okay? It can be applied in dialysis and what extracorporeal or circulation, all right? Dialysis, all right? Then it can also be used in what cancer treatments, right? Then moving to the other ones, can be using disease conditions like what? Unstable angina. Unstable angina is when there is like formation of all those thrombus. Then there's a likelihood of the thrombus breaking and going to block other distal places, right? So that's an angina that's unstable, right? Can be using myocardial infarction where there's narrowing of the blood vessels by fat deposition, all right? So you know that blood is moving slow, right? So you give that type of patient heparin so that their blood is kept in a liquid state, all right? It can also help in the prevention of stroke and also the treatment of stroke, all right? Help in atrial fibrillation, help in peripheral vascular disease, and help in what? Cancer-associated or thrombosis, right? So all these 10 are the medical importance of what? Heparin.